In this video, we're going to work out an individual integral. We're going to take a look at the integral of sine x all over the square root of 1 plus cosine x dx. This is going to be a straightforward u substitution, the type of integral that would be found typically in a Calc 1 class. We're going to start by letting our u be that 1 plus cosine x there in the denominator. So we're going to let u equal 1 plus cosine x. We'll take the derivative of both sides, du is equal to, all right, the one will go away when we take derivative there, derivative of cosine x will be the minus sine x dx. And then we'll go ahead and solve all the way down for that dx. So we'll have a du over a negative sine x is equal to that dx. At that point, then we'll come back up to the original integral and do some substitutions. So we'll have the integral and then we'll have a sine x there in the numerator. We'll have the square root sign. We will replace what's underneath there with our u. So square root of u. We'll replace dx with what it equals. So du over a minus sine x. All right, that's gonna let us cross the sine x's out. We will still have that negative that we're gonna have to bring out in front. So we'll bring that out in front. So we'll have a negative, the integral, of a one over, I'm gonna go ahead and take that radical u and make it a u to the one half power. And then we'll have a du, okay? We'll move this up to the top using our laws of exponents. So we'll have a negative integral of u to the negative one half du. All right, at this point then, I'll be able to add one to that exponent to do my integration. That's gonna give us a u raised to the one half and in front, we'll have a negative 2 plus c because the integration is done. And then as a final step, we'll replace u with what we said it was going to be. And then I'll go ahead and write this as a square root. So we'll have a negative 2 square root of 1 plus cosine x and then plus c. So definitely just a straightforward u substitution integral. All right, no tricks, nothing fancy. Definitely in a Calc 1 class when you had just beginning to learn how to do that use substitution technique. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.